This video will present a simple walkthrough showing the typical steps required to calculate fatigue life using EpiSafe Rubber. The walkthrough will use a model of a constant velocity boot to present the workflow. Here is the finite element model of the CV boot. Animating the load history shows the first step, which rotates the joint housing by 30 degrees. This represents a 30 degree turn of a vehicle wheel. The second step holds the 30 degree turn while rotating the boot one full revolution. The strain data from the second step is what will be used in the FESAFE analysis. The model consists of 3D elements through the thickness of the boot, but also has 2D membrane elements as a skin on the surface of the boot. These membrane elements help accurately capture strain on the surface where cracks will most likely form. With the 3D elements removed, the nominal engineering strain on the surface can be viewed on the contour plot. This set, called Skin Set Analyze, is a small strip of membrane elements. Due to the boot being axisymmetric, this small set will be used as a representative of the entire boot. EFISAFE is opened with the location of the ODB file set as the project directory. The included Endurica Materials database is opened, which holds a collection of sample materials. All of the material parameters can be viewed and edited, if desired. The Endurica plugin is now loaded to give access to the fatigue solver. Opening the finite element model starts the process of selecting the data, element sets, and time history. Centroidal stress and strain data will be imported from the model. The units from the model need to be specified. In this problem, only the stress units need to be changed to megapascals. The small set that was shown earlier is now selected as a group to be analyzed. The stress and strain data are now added to a data block. The data block starts with the first increment of the second step for the stress and then for the strain. The data set index values are found and then the created block is edited to span all of step 2. The number 2 in parentheses is the notation for counting in increments of two over the range of values. The loading, which is one revolution of the wheel, can be given in miles instead of repeats, so the output life for each element will be number of miles until failure. A new material is created from a copy of an existing material. Some of the parameters need to be updated for the specific problem. It is then assigned to the set of membrane elements. The algorithm is selected from the loaded plugin as surface since the elements are 2D and came from the surface of the boot. The default group is not used and does not need to be analyzed. The job is analyzed and the worst life and element are shown. The lives were written to a new ODB file. Once again, the solid elements are removed from the display so the membrane elements can be clearly viewed. This shows the strip of analyzed elements on the display. The rainbow spectrum is reversed so that red corresponds to shorter lives and blue corresponds to longer lives. This concludes the FE Safe Rubber walkthrough.